All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video uh, overviewing ROM Manager on the Samsung Epic 4G. It's now officially supported, so definitely uh, something that uh, you need to check out if you have updated your Clockwork Mod to Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7. If you haven't, I recommend doing so. I'll link to that in the description of the video. If you haven't, otherwise, um, it is officially supported. I do recommend manually updating uh, first because it'll uh, basically cut down on errors with Clockwork Mod. Otherwise, uh, you get ROM Manager from the market. As you can see, it looks like ROM, it looks like that right there. That would be ROM Manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into it. You will need root access, obviously. Uh, but it's, uh, you can basically register if you want. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna hit OK, and here it is, ROM Manager. You got Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, Reboot and Recovery, Install ROM from SD card, Download ROM, Check for ROM updates, uh, install from QR code, manage and restore backups, uh, backup current ROM, fix permissions, partition SD card. I don't think you should probably do that right now. Make sure you don't partition your SD card at this time. Uh, but otherwise, uh, what, what uh, basically what it can do is, what since it's officially supported, you'll be able to keep your Clockwork Mod completely updated just with this app. So all you're gonna have to do is hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery and it should update to the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. You just have to find your phone since ours is officially supported, Samsung Epic 4G should be in this menu. So um, as you can see right there, Samsung Epic 4G, select it and then it should uh, basically just flash it. And it's asking for super user access, as I see. It says successfully downloaded Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, basically, it's gonna be the same, obviously, since the latest right now is 5.0.2.7. So just keep that in mind. It's not gonna do anything if you do that right now. But uh, now, instead of manually going into Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can just go into ROM Manager and hit Reboot and Recovery, and it should take you to 5.0.2.7. Just a heads up, if you are on a ROM that has it in the Power menu, a Reboot and Recovery option, I don't think it's gonna work because it needs, they need to switch the redirects and everything when they press that button. Otherwise, um, you have options. Developers can upload their ROMs to the ROM Manager website, and then you can install ROMs from the SD card. Um, you can also download your ROMs uh, if you go to download ROMs, I believe. See, so you have some ROMs there. Computer Kids ROM, uh, Marcus Sant. Basically, it gives the developers names, um, and then it, if you select it, it should have ROMs in there. So as you can see, the Urban Precision X ROM is in there in case you wanted to check those out, which is very nice actually. Marcus Sands ROMs are in there as well. ACS, ICS 5.1. So very cool. As you got a rating system as well. Um, as you can see, Marcus Sands got five stars. Uh, Computer Kids five stars. ERA five stars. Uh, lets you know how many downloads were done as well. Um, so very cool there. It's actually just a nice thing to have. You can manage and restore backups. Um, as you can see, you got your backups right here. I believe if you hit menu, I figured you could make a backup through uh, ROM manager. Oh yeah, just backup current ROM. Just select backup current ROM, and then basically it'll back up, make an Android backup for you. Otherwise, that's about it. Very uh, nice feature to have, as I said. Now you can just hit reboot and recovery instead of manually powering it down, manually going into clock room. You can if you want, no big deal. I uh, just figured I'd make a video for everyone uh, letting you know what uh, ROM Manager does and what it uh, what it is for you. And as I said, you need Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, and I recommend manually doing it first. Link's in the description of the video for that. Uh, otherwise, if you do have any questions, run into any problems, please ask. Uh, I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links are in the description of the video. And uh, as always, be sure to subscribe for future videos, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.